Perfect. And we have Cynthia coming in. Awesome. Cool, cool. So we might as well get right into it and we can catch up everybody as they join. Hi, Helen. We're going to do an essential oil 101 class tonight, which is pretty much just the beginner version of learning about oils, but it doesn't matter how new or old you are to this, you always get something out of listening into a 101 class. I'll just introduce myself quick and then you can, Liz. I am Brittany Pio. I'm from Cassville, New York. I'm a massage therapist and a massage therapy instructor. I have been a wellness advocate with doTERRA for about two years now, and I've loved every second of it. It's just been a really great way to empower the people in my life and myself and just learning more and more and being able to incorporate an entire lifestyle in for not only myself, but my clients and my family. So just really excited to be here tonight. Um, I'm Elizabeth Crawford or Liz. I'm an integrative nutrition health coach and uh, an essential oil specialist. I've been using essential oils for six years and I knew immediately when I first learned about oils that I wanted to use everything um, and replace all the toxic products in my home, use it as um, you know, a replacement for my medicine cabinet, for my personal care products, for my household products, and also share with as many people as I can. And it's just been a really great vehicle, um, not only for my own health, but also for a transformation for my career. So it was kind of like the catalyst that I need to integrate nutrition and it's been super life-changing and I just love sharing. So I'm so excited you guys are all here. Oh, hi, Ellie. Ellie's here now too. It's a party. Um, thanks for sharing your Wednesday night with us and we'll just get started. Brett, you can kick it off. Awesome. So our intentions for tonight are to just give you some different things about essential oils that you can take home with you, three ways to use them, and how to actually get doTERRA into your home. Uh, what is a great idea for any time we do a class like this is to get out a pen and a piece of paper to take down some notes. And while you are taking down those notes, some questions you want to start off with just thinking to yourself, maybe two or three things that you want to feel less. Um, so maybe it's things like stress or overwhelm, pain, try to get specific here. And um, generalizing is okay too, but just thinking about what are some things in your life you want to feel less of? What are some things that are taking up maybe too much space and distracting you from being present? and some things that you hmm. like to feel more of. Boy, how the hell do you do this? Lori, hi. <laughs> I don't know how, wait a second. We can I don't know why, why, why do I look like that? We don't even uh, see you. What? We can't see you. I know, yeah, I, but there's this blob picture there for me. Hmm. it's like it's like um you know just a blob it's two two white two white things how do you how do you um connect like that how do you connect maybe i need Video? To, yeah maybe i need to start over maybe do I need to start over um sometimes you have to like enable the video depending on like what device you're on, if you have like privacy settings. Oh, okay, wait, start start your video from the bottom screen, wait a sec. I thought okay. you were just being a like active listener, like how the hell do I feel more? Of <laughs> <laughs> okay, so wait a second here, let me see. 
Okay, you guys continue and I'll see if okay. I can figure right. this out. If okay, we can help I'm you sorry. Out, let us know. So that's okay. giving everybody some time to think of what they want to yeah. maybe address in your life. Um, so take it away, Liz. All right. Um, does anybody want to share any of their I want to feel more and I want to feel less is? Any, anything coming up that you want to share? And then I can make sure to like hone in on it throughout the presentation. It's okay. You don't have to share. Just thought I'd give you guys the opportunity. Um, I like to have people. Too. What's that, Brett? Uh, the chat box is welcome too. Oh yeah, smart. Um, I'm really bad at watching it though. So if you see I'll something, try to watch. Yeah. Say something. <laughs> um, yeah, so I like to have people kind of jump down there. I want to feel more than I want to feel less is because we're going to talk about a lot of different stuff. And it's good to get grounded in what will serve your body the most and what will be the most helpful for you. So um, that's why we do that exercise. Um, so I'm going to go through a couple of the things that are great to know about essential oils. There's three really cool takeaways that I'd like for you guys to have. Uh, the first one is that essential oils are safe. They are natural um, and they have uh, what I like to call side benefits instead of, instead of side effects. You know, when you're watching like a pharmaceutical commercial and they go through like the list of all the terrible things that can happen to you, um, that, that's not going to happen with essential oils. And there's just so many side benefits um, in addition to the positive outcomes that come from using them. Uh, they're extracts from plants, uh, which is always been really interesting to me to kind of know a little bit more about the science behind it where if you think about a plant living in like a really dense marsh, marshy kind of like wet area, it's going to have a lot of antifungal properties. And that is the plant's immune system. So it helps it to thrive in that environment. And when we extract the oils through low heat distillation, it keeps all the therapeutic benefits of that immune system intact. And then when we use it for ourselves, and we're gonna go through the different ways you can use them, uh, you can actually reap those same benefits. So that antifungal plant is going to have antifungal properties in the essential oil. And then something that's like growing in a desert, it's going to have very strong anti, um, antioxidant properties because it has to live in that dry, arid climate. And then those benefits uh, translate into benefits for you when you're using the essential oil. So I always thought that was really cool about essential oils that we could benefit from their immune system. Um, and the thing that I think is most important uh, about this slide here is that these essential oils are CPTG or, or certified pure therapeutic grade. And that is the highest standard of essential oils. I like to say that if, if there could be pharmaceutical grade essential oils, this would be it. This is what we're pushing towards, uh, towards making essential oils credible and functional and usable for not only us as at-home practitioners, but for medical practitioners as well. So that's what we're really striving for at doTERRA. That is what sets us apart from other essential oil companies. And um, one thing that I always like to stress too is when you're shopping um, and you see essential oils at like the grocery store or Target or TJ Maxx or what have you, um, it's really not a product that's regulated by the FDA because it's not considered to be a food or a drug. And they can get away with saying 100% pure on the label with only having about 10 to 20% of the product in the bottle. So it's very important to know that because we're going to talk about using the oils internally, topically, and aromatically. And that's going into your body. And you want to make sure you know exactly what is in the bottle. And with doTERRA, that's, that is the big difference. Um, so the first oil we have here is peppermint. If you have peppermint, you have probably done the peppermint challenge where you breathe it off your hands and you press it to the roof of your mouth. Um, and it's, if you've had that experience, you know that peppermint is very stimulating. It is cooling, it can lower a temperature. It's actually really yummy in brownies. That's my, probably my favorite way to use peppermint. It's just, just like five drops in a brownie mix really jazzes it up. Um, helps with headaches, just pressed to the roof of the mouth. And there's just so many great benefits of using peppermint anti-inflammatory. So 
that is one cool thing about essential oils. And I spoke too long. You go, Britt. <laughs> no, that was awesome, Liz. Uh, and I love to do a little dash of peppermint on the inside of my face mask now. I just like put it on the top of my thumb and rub it inside my mask. So when I have to wear it, it's easier to breathe through. So another um, thing that we can count on with these oils is they're effective. Um, they're effective in a way that our bodies don't assimilate to them and get used to them. Like you don't have to worry about, oh, the more that you use them, the more you're going to have to use. Like literally just one drop every time. Okay. So, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jenny, I didn't mean that. Our bodies, um, just never get immune to the oils, which is awesome. And it's, effective. It can actually help us get more to the root of the problem versus just covering up the symptoms. Um, so often too, the root of our problems can be environmental, they can be stress, they can come down to an emotional aspect, and we can use these oils as a tool to eliminate some of that outside burden that we might have on our body that's getting to the root of our issues. Like if we are using the synthetics in our home that are wreaking havoc on our body, um, with the oils, we can use them as a tool to help us through emotional imbalances, whether you're stressed out or um, there is an emotion that you're hanging on to, you can work through it with using something more natural, like essential oils that just boost our mood and our overall, um, you know, can be just a great way to help with our mentality. And with the oils, they actually work with our body synergistically to permeate our cell membrane. So our body recognizes them, they're plants in nature, it's nothing, nothing synthetic. And there's receptors on our cells that allow these oils to permeate through the cell membrane. And not only that, they don't damage the cells that they interact with, um, like some things that we can think of, like an antibiotic, um, which again, you know, those things are in place to help us too, but we don't want to have to turn to a prescription every time we have an ailment or something chronic going on. And we know a lot of times that hasn't always helped in the past. So On Guard is a great example of this. We call that the gateway oil for women a lot of times because as women, we typically are the providers in our home in the sense of like providing care and taking care of everybody else. So this blend that doTERRA makes is a blend of cinnamon and clove and eucalyptus, rosemary, wild orange. Um, and they designed this in a way that takes the guesswork out of it for us. Um, even though it's fun to be our own little alchemists and uh, witches, we don't have to create these blends. doTERRA already does a great job in doing so and putting together this blend, it's the protection blend. It's intended to help boost our immune system, promote that in a way that it just works with our body to help our body do what it already does naturally. Um, I love to take a drop of this in warm water, like I was making tea, and I'll just do a drop of On Guard. And if I feel like that tingle or something coming on, um, it really does help soothe whatever is going on that way. I'll mix it with lemon sometimes even too, because it's just a little extra and it even tastes really nice that way. And when we diffuse this in the air in our home, it just clings on to the air. It clings on to our clothes. So if we bring home those, you know, yucky things from the outside, it's working to just neutralize what we have going on. Um, and they make an awesome line for your home from everything from laundry detergent to a cleaner concentrate to hand soap um, in the On Guard blend. And I, I have swapped out all of that product in my household because I love them. So they're gentle and effective. My turn. Your turn. <laughs> Thank you, Britt. Um, so another really great thing to know about essential oils is that they're affordable. You know, oftentimes people have kind of like a knee jerk reaction to the individual price of a bottle of oil because it's just this cute little bottle, right? Like it's, it's surprising sometimes, but what 
my big takeaway has been with essential oils is that you only need one drop at a time. And each oil is so incredibly versatile that it takes the place of 10 products in your home. So that cost really goes a long way. Lavender is pennies a drop and you only need one to three drops at a time. Um, and if you're using oils in that way, it really will take like three months or more for you to go through an entire bottle of oil. So very, very cost effective. We spend globally $6.5 trillion a year on healthcare. And I, I always like to ask the question, like, are we any healthier? Is it truly healthcare? Uh, the difference with, with using essential oils and with using more natural products is that we're getting down to the root cause and really eliminating the, the need for that kind of expenditure. Um, and if you think about it, when you are using the traditional medical model, there are expenses that you don't ever see because the insurance covers it. Costs do still for you. You know, it's time off from work because doctor's offices are only open during those hours of the day, um, or even just time spent on the phone trying to get the information or set up the appointments necessary. There's your co-pays, there's your pharmaceutical costs. So it's not without its costs. Um, and the thing that I really, really have loved about essential oils from the beginning is they give you back a lot of control. So when I have a tickle in my throat, like Brittany explaining, we use some, we use peppermint or on guard, right? Because we have that available to us. Not only does it help with the sensation, but it helps to flush out that bacteria or that virus out of your system. So you may not ever need to get to that point where you have to go to the doctor. And oftentimes what happens there anyway, is they say it's a virus and I can't do anything to help you. It's going to have to run its course go home and eat chicken noodle soup and, um, and drink water, right? Like it just has to run its course, just go home and rest. So that's still true with a virus, but at least with essential oils, because they are able to pass through the barrier of the cell and get into the, the nucleus of the cell where the, the virus really targets, it can stop the reproduction of that virus so that it's not a long drawn out process and you can recover quicker and flush it out of your system faster. So uh, to me, that's a savings, right? Because if, if I'm sick for two, three weeks, there are things that I can't do in my life and there's a huge cost there. Maybe it's, I can't work, right? So, so many, so many costs can be um, avoided when using more natural solutions and having more control at home. So, Lavender, um, awesome oil, really, really great for all things calming. And I think that's kind of its MO. Like we all know that we use lavender for sleep and for getting the kids to calm down before bed, couple drops in the bathtub at night, maybe rubbing some on the balls of your feet because that's the most porous space on your body and it really helps to just calm you. Another thing I learned about lavender recently though, is that it's part of the peppermint family. So it has a lot of anti-inflammatory properties as well. So you can use it when you have like aches and pains in your shoulders and it helps to soothe that sensation, but also you're getting that aromatic benefit. So you're getting all that aromatherapy that's very calming. So you're getting that physical and emotional benefit. And again, those are those side benefits that I was mentioning earlier. Um, lavender's a fabulous oil. <laughs> uh, next, next slide, please. So we'll get right into the three different ways that you can use your essential oils. And probably the most common one that people think of is diffusing, is the aromatic use of essential oils. I love to diffuse throughout my house. There's nothing like having somebody walk into your home and saying that it smells good. I feel like that's the nicest compliment. I might not have the counter picked up, but my house always smells good. And when you are diffusing in your home too, you really get to like set the vibe that you want um, or wherever you choose to diffuse, but you can have that intention and like if we want to use peppermint oils or citrus oils, we'll think of more uplifting where our tree oils or grasses might be more grounding and calming. And you really get to, 
I mean, we're all unique and we all get to decide really what works for us the most and, and all of that. But what I do love about oils is that they are adaptogenic in a way that they work with our body to promote homeostasis. And because they are so natural, you don't have to be afraid that using a, a citrus in the afternoon or at night is gonna keep you up and in the night. Um, they still work with our body in that way to support us and what we need. So with diffusing or using oils aromatically, you're also bringing in the benefits of the oils, not just making your home smell good. So it might be improving your mood. It might also help with boosting immune system. And it's just a great way to detoxify your home even more so. I was guilty of having a plug-in or a candle going in each room. And I think about it over the last three years, um, this is just a good example. My dog always had skin issues. Seasonal allergies was what it was always blamed on. Um, I'd swept up his food, I'd do all the things. And you know, the last few years, just reflecting on this, he hasn't been getting those seasonal allergies that showed up on his stomach, like on that um, skin. So I'm not, you know, making any claims or anything, but I don't think that there's any denying that there's a correlation between when I stop using all those synthetics in my home. Um, so with that being said, you can also use um, aromatic diffusing in different ways too. You can get jewelry, you can, um, sometimes I'll just even put oils in my hair a little bit and I'm making myself a diffuser. And I, I love to use um, passive diffusing as well, which are just little things you can get like lava stones to sit on your desk or near you where you don't need to necessarily like have something plugged in or use water. But putting a few drops in a diffuser with some water to the red line is a really easy and effective way to get the benefits of the oils into your home and sharing that with your family. Um, doTERRA makes wonderful diffusers. They last a lot longer and they seem to be more effective than the ones that I've bought from other places. But what we always say is make sure you're getting your oils from doTERRA no matter what. You can get diffusers from other places, but I will say that the quality that comes from doTERRA is much better than other places I've gotten them from. Um, so this oil that's on the screen now is another blend, Breathe. And if you think of like what the label is, that is what it's going to help with respiratory. It's going to help make your breathing more easy. I love to mix this at night with lavender. It's my favorite to be diffusing on like my bedside table um, or in my doTERRA humidifier. I also um, love to put breathe on my chest. I'll make like a roller bottle and do a VIX dial vapor rub, but you're not getting any of the toxins or synthetics. I know a couple of my customers have told me just about like using small drops, uh, diluting it in their moisturizer at night, and it helps with their breathing throughout the night. Um, when I also rub it on my chest, I know for me and for others, it's really helped with any feelings of like anxiety or just um, that worry that hangs out on your chest sometimes. So I love that blend. It's definitely one of my favorites, but let's be honest, they're all my favorites. I love it. Mm, oh, there it is. I'm like, I can't see the whole thing. Okay, thank you. Uh, topical use. So topical use is a wonderful way to get a localized uh, impact. So when you use them topically, like for a good example might be lavender actually. Um, lavender is great for burns and rashes and helping your skin to heal. And when you're using it topically for those reasons, uh, you're, you're using it in that locust area. But what's really great about topical use is you the oil does pass through your skin right into your bloodstream. So you're getting both local and systemic benefits. Um, they are 
they don't all need to be diluted. I often do get questions about this. How do I know when to dilute? Uh, do all of them need to be diluted? Can I use the meat, meat meaning without dilution? And the truth is some need to be diluted and some do not. And the way you would go about knowing that is a really good reference tool. I use the Essential Life book. There's also a book called Aroma Tools. And I kind of call it the Bible of essential oils. So anytime you have a question like that, you can just look up the oil and learn about how to actually apply it to your skin. A uh, couple of reasons you would want to dilute essential oils is if you have sensitive skin, if you already know that you have sensitive skin and you re react easily to um, sitting in the grass, that is sensitive skin. You want to dilute your essential oils when using them topically. Uh, if you are working with the elderly or with small children because they just have more sensitive skin. Uh, diluting is really simple. You would use something called fractionated coconut oil. Um, that's an oil that we have available through doTERRA, but you can use really any sort of oil base. Uh, if you are kind of in a pinch, you could use an oil out of your kitchen, like a coconut oil or a grapeseed oil. The only drawback to that is it can be really it can leave like a greasy residue. Um, something like fractionated coconut oil is, well, if you're familiar with coconut oil, which is usually solid, fractionated coconut oil just means that it's been, the solids have been separated from it. So it's always in a lead state. Um, and it looks like this is what ours looks like. And you can get this. I do highly recommend getting this pump to go with your fractionated coconut oil because when you're using it, it's just a, a lot easier to uh, work with it. So reasons to dilute, sensitive skin, elderly, children, um, also just to carry the oil over a larger surface area. So if you're wanting to, let's say, apply an anti-inflammatory oil, like for example here, the deep blue, if you wanna apply it to a large area of your body, like your thigh and hip area or your entire back, the oils are very, it's called volatile, which just means that they evaporate very easily. So they're not, they're not gonna spread really, really far. The way you would wanna get around that is using this fractionated coconut oil or another carrier oil. And it literally just allows you to carry the oil over a larger surface area. And it helps with absorption. Um, your skin is lipophilic, which means it's attracted to oil uh, and the, carrier oil allows for that absorption to happen quicker uh, and for the absorption to go deeper into your into your tissue. So it's actually really smart to dilute. It sounds like you're diluting your oil, like, like it's making it less uh, potent, but that's not true at all. It actually makes it work better and more efficient. Um, and when you do use oils topically, it absorbs into your skin very quickly and it's, it's systemically impacting every cell in your body. Uh, so some oils here that are on the screen that are great for topical use is Deep Blue. Deep Blue is a blend of different oils that are anti-inflammatory and help bring oxygen to the, the localized area that you're applying it to. It comes in a five milliliter bottle, which is about 80 drops of essential oil. This one has wintergreen, camphor, peppermint, blue tansy, helichrysum, and osmanthus. A lot of those oils you already know are very have like a very cool and tingly sensation. Um, so you do feel that with this essential oil. And like I said, with um, dilution, you want to make sure you're diluting if you're if you do have sensitive skin, or if you're working with the elderly or small children because of that tingly sensation. The um, dilution will just reduce that sensation. Some people don't need to dilute though. I don't dilute this one and I, I do dilute, dilute a lot of my oils, but this one I don't need to. Um, and another thing I like to mention too here is that this comes in a cream application. Um, my bottle is cut open so I could get everything, every last drip out of it. <laughs> but um, basically this, in this, I think it's eight ounces. Nope, I'm sorry, four ounces. In this four ounce tube, there's one whole bottle of deep blue oil. And then what I like about this is it has capsaicin in it, which comes from hot peppers. So you're, you're getting that kind of like icy hot sensation. 
this is going to replace your icy hot. This is going to replace your biofreeze because it's not just a tingly sensation. It's actually doing work. It's reducing inflammation, reducing pain and bringing oxygen to the site to help speed healing and recovery. So great for athletes um, before a workout, just so that you can get a really good stretch in um, and really deliver a lot of oxygen to your muscles as you're working out. And for post-workout for recovery, but it's also great for like post-surgery or if you fell and you have a bruised rear end, like it's really a great oil for just about any type of um, pain and inflammation. And it does uh, help bruises to heal faster. Um, and then digestin is another one. That's actually an oil that you can use. You can use all three ways, topically, um, aromatically, and internally. When you use it topically, you would want to apply it to your belly. It helps with gas, bloating, indigestion, diarrhea, constipation. I personally really like to use it for um, car, like I get motion sickness in the car quite often, uh, not on short trips, but on longer trips. And it helps uh, if I just apply it to my abdomen when I'm not feeling well and then inhale it off of my hands. And I also like to apply it to the heel of my foot um, in reflexology. That is the point that correlates to your digestive organs. Um, maybe just a little bit above the heel, not all the way on the bottom of the heel. <laughs> um, and it can be a really amazing oil just for bloat. Like it's the, I ate too much at Thanksgiving dinner oil and it helps so quickly. It's, really, really surprising. It kind of blows my mind every time it works, but it does work and it's been helpful for so many people. And there's so many other oils that you can use topically, but this is just an example of two of them. And that's it. So the last way that we can use our oils are internally. So there's two different ways that you, well, kind of three, uh, but you can use veggie caps, which doTERRA sells them. I, this is a small bottle, but they have a large bottle with like, I think it's about 130 or 160 for like $5. They're vegetable glycerin caps and you literally just pop them open and drop your drops in. Um, depending on why I'm using them and who I'm using them for is how many drops I'll put in, but my usual rule of thumb is around like five drops. And if you get the soft gels from doTERRA, like Copaiba soft gels, for example, they usually put about five drops in those. So I do the equivalent of anywhere from one to five drops of the oil in there and swallow them just like I would any other capsule or pill. And you can do that for a variety of reasons. Digestion, you know that you're starting to feel a little sick or you came in contact with somebody who was. Um, I also love doing citruses in my water. Like I mentioned before, the On Guard 2 and the hot water, but just my cold water that I drink throughout the day, I like to add a drop or two of lemon and um, slim and sassy. Any of the citrus oils or the mint oils are really nice in your water. You can also do drops under your tongue. Um, frankincense is a great oil to put under your tongue. It's one of the only things known to break the blood brain barrier. There's a ton of research around cancer and frankincense and tumors reducing in size. So that's like just a really interesting thing to research and see around if you have that family history um, or if you experience a lot of inflammation in your life. Frankincense is just one of those great daily health hacks that you can use to promote not only, again, just being preventative, but if you already know that you experience inflammatory disease of some kind, or if you experience brain fog, or you have that history of any sort of condition with the mind. Um, I also love using the mints in my water for like stomach aches, headaches, if I'm feeling just even the slightest bit congested or like that seasonal allergy, drinking the mint in my water throughout the day really just helps keep you like open and alert. 
Um, like we talked about before too, like you could do that drop of peppermint rubbing your hand and then swipe it across the roof of your mouth. Um, but an even more effective way for like the frankincense is to just do a drop right under your tongue. It gets into your brain quicker and it's just a really great habit to get into to promote overall anti-inflammatory, anti-stress, helps you sleep better. Um, the lemon oil that we have up here too, think cleansing. The liver loves lemon, loves that sourness. It helps our body's natural ability to detox. And just like we can use it to detox our bodies, which need it, uh, even if you have the most clean ingredients, you try to keep the toxins out of your home as much as possible, we're still getting exposed, you know, just by walking outside or, or driving in the car. So it is important that we aid our body's natural ability to detox with consuming the lemon. And when you are using lemon oil, it's coming from the rind, right? Like we're thinking of the immune system of the lemon, which hangs out right in the rind of the lemon. So if you're not a huge fan of lemon water, I still think you should try this because it doesn't taste exactly like squeezing lemon juice into your water. And lemon juice can be really abrasive. So if you're drinking lemon juice throughout the day in your water, it's gonna wear at your enamel and might even start to upset your stomach after a while where this has just a different effect because it comes from the rind of the lemon and you don't have to worry about it um, wearing away at that enamel on your teeth. The way that it cleanses our body, it can also cleanse our home. I love using lemon as a degreaser, as um, a way to clean my berries. I'll use a metal or a glass bowl because we wanna make sure if we're using citruses, if we're drinking them, if we're using them in our homes, um, that we're avoiding plastic because plastic is toxic. And just like it cleanses everything else, it'll cleanse the whole right through that plastic. And we don't wanna be consuming whatever is coming out of the plastic. So uh, just a great example, my husband had a pair of golf pants that I had washed and dried before I realized there was a huge stain on the butt cheek. Not sure what he sat in. And I put like five drops of lemon on it and just let it sit overnight, washed them, dried them, no more stain. Like that just blows my mind that I washed and dried it and who knows how long that stain had been sitting there anyways. So it's a great tool to have in your home. It's a great way to really help us rid those toxins that we're just getting in us, no matter you know what we're doing to try to prevent it. So especially um, women in general, we just expose ourselves to even more. So it's important that we give ourselves that support and it helps you drink more water. Mm. Balance. Balance is fabulous. Thank you, Brittany, for all that. Um, I just love lemon. I have to say it does so many things in my house. I use it in every room of the house, especially the kitchen. I cook with it. I clean with it. It's amazing. Just for a little tiny bottle of liquid does so many things for me. Um, but anyway, balance. Balance is a blend of um, very grounding oils. So this is the grounding blend and it has a lot of tree oils in it. It has hoe wood in it, frankincense. It is super, super, super relaxing. Um, I, I like to kind of explain it as like, if you feel like you have a lot of highs and lows with your emotions, this helps to really just mellow you out. Um, when I first got into essential oils, I like handed this to my sister. I'm like, you need this. <laughs> she wasn't happy with me when I explained why, but it, it's true. It's like very, it does help to really even out your emotions. It can also give you a very grounding sensation a physical sensation. So if you're into yoga, um, this is a nice oil to incorporate into your practice and the reason why it's so grounding is because the tree oils are, <clears throat> you think of the properties of a tree being deeply rooted, able to weather any storm. Um, they grow towards the light. Like those are all properties that this oil has and can also share with you. Great benefits um, just from nature to us. 
your turn, Brittany. <laughs> Copaiba. So Copaiba, this is the, after you have used Deep Blue, because Deep Blue is amazing, you will also find that Copaiba will be one of your best friends if you have any aches, pains. I love teaching my clients how to use Copaiba because it just makes my life easier as a massage therapist. I can just tell how much they relax, how their muscles just seem to agree with them a lot more when this becomes a regular habit. You can also do a drop of Copaiba underneath your tongue for a restful night's sleep. I always think of this as CBD's nicer sister. So they both have endocannabinoids with them. Our body works really well with endocannabinoids. That's why so many people use CBD or THC medicinally. Our bodies just know what to do with them and they do promote homeostasis. They go back to bringing balance to the body, relieving stress and inflammation. Um, but the downside with CBD or THC is it's not regulated. Oftentimes you really don't know the sourcing of it. Um, you want to be able to pass a drug test. Those are things you can't guarantee with either of those. And Copaiba, because it comes from doTERRA, we know that it's been vetted and that we can trust it and that we're going to get the same quality every time that we use it. You also don't have to worry about not passing a drug test. And I just really like to incorporate this in a lot of my roller bottles that I make because Copaiba can help to enhance the oils that you are putting into your roller bottle and just make them even more stronger and potent. Mm. Okay, Citrus Bliss is a blend of citrus oils with a little note of vanilla, like a like a creamsicle. This is an awesome oil for diffusing and it just elevates the mood. And I do I do also like to use it topically as a perfume. Um, going into the warmer weather months, you do want to be careful with any citruses used topically. This is, it's, this is like the perfect time to talk about it because, well, it's snowing today, but <laughs> I swear warmer weather is right around the corner and you want to know this. So you don't want to put citrus oils directly on your skin uh, during the summer months because they promote photosensitivity. So you just want to be very careful not to put it someplace that's going to see the, the sunshine. Um, balls of your feet are fine. You know, you can always put an oil like this in the tips of your hair. Uh, or if you have diffuser jewelry, like a necklace, I would avoid a bracelet because it will get on your wrist. Um, so I love it though. Citrus Bliss is so uplifting. And uh, with some starter kits this month, you can get it for free. So ask your favorite wellness advocate about that. Um, that's all I have to share about that. I love Citrus Bliss in my card too. I have a passive diffuser in there and I always drip oh, it in there. That's smart. And Adaptive is another great blend to talk about. This is the mental health blend. It has Copaiba in it, like we talked about a couple slides ago. So just think of that anti-stress and very calming. And the smell of Adaptive is right up there. Um, with the best smells in the world. It has lavender and the sweet gum and it smells earthy but floral and sweet all at the same time. I, I really love it for any time of day. I typically do diffuse it or use it more so in the beginnings of my day because it keeps me calm but focused. I know a lot of people will use it at nighttime too. I love the way that Adaptive makes me feel. The oil is amazing. They even make it in a capsule blend that has GABA in it that just helps maintain our brain to a really nice steady place. And I cannot say enough great things about Adaptive. It came on the market with doTERRA at a really great time a couple of years ago as more than ever people need the support when it comes to stress and the mind and mental health. 
Agreed. Um, I love adaptive at night. It helps turn down my brain when I have like a mental spiral of chit chat that I can't turn off. Um, so Serenity is another one that I really love as far as blends are concerned. And our blends are put together so that you don't have to go buy five oils and make your own mixture, which is fun. You can also do that, but it uh, it's easier and quicker to buy a blend that has an intended purpose. So this one is the Restful blend. It is um, lavender and ylang ylang and vetiver are the three aroma notes that really stick out to me in this oil. Lavender, as you know, all things calming. Vetiver is for focus and concentration, and that is a, a tree oil, and it's probably my favorite oil out of all, all of doTERRA's essential oils. Uh, and then ylang ylang is known to be the oil of love. It just makes you feel like you're being wrapped in a hug. Uh, and it's just, this is an amazing blend. I didn't always love it. I didn't always speak so lovingly about it. I, I, I don't know why, but recently and in, in recent months, it's been very good to me. I use it more for like daytime anxiety than I use it for bedtime. I do use it at bedtime sometimes with, with the adaptive. It pairs well. It's kind of like liquid Xanax that and balance too is another one. If you pair any of those three together, like you will just sleep for days, <laughs> just kidding, not for days, just the right amount. But serenity has been really, really good to me. And I, I, during the day, because it just, it gives me what I need when I'm feeling anxious. That's all I have to say about that. Awesome. And we cannot go without mentioning the vitamins. So although doTERRA is an essential oil company, their number one selling product is the Lifelong Vitality Pack. And I feel like I cannot even do these supplements justice. Like I can sit here all day and tell you how much it helped my skin, my mood, my sleep, my digestion, my energy all the things, but I would not be doing it just if, if Liz couldn't talk on this. So what? I know we're already <laughs> going late, but I just think that you do such a great job, Liz. So sorry to put you on the spot like that. All yeah. right. Um, and you know what? There's people on this call who also use this product and we all have a unique testimonial for it. Um, so the alpha, or let me start from the beginning. <laughs> Lifelong Vitality is a set of three supplements, XE Omega, Microplex VMZ, and Alpha CRXS. The Microplex VMZ is all your vitamins and minerals. So you're going to see like A, B, C, D, E, and K, and then tons of minerals. And it is whole food based. So the great thing about that is when you ingest a whole food, ba whole food based supplement, your body knows exactly what to do with it. In the ingredients list, you see Brussels sprouts and kale and seaweed and all that good green stuff that we just don't really get enough of. And your body's like, thank you. Thank you. I've been, I've been asking for that. Um, but this just, this helps with energy levels. And it also helps me with emotional uh, balance. When I'm not taking my supplements, I feel it in my emotions first. I'm easy to get pissed off, usually at the grocery store. <laughs> like, um, and I just know like, oh, I haven't been taking my supplements and when I feel so much better when I do. The XE Omega is another great one just for not only mental health, but heart health for the lining of your gut, which serotonin is produced there, your immune system is produced there. So you wanna take care of that part of your body, helps with brain fog, helps with joint discomfort. That has nine essential oils in it, including frankincense and clove, which are crazy, amazing antioxidants. So it helps with energy production and all the good stuff. Um, and it, inflammation, reduces inflammation. And then Alpha CRS is the cellular blend. It allows for your cells to function more efficiently. Uh, if you think of your cells like a, like a rundown old car, well, not all, we don't all have to be in a rundown old car. <laughs> But think of yourselves as like an automobile. The older it gets, the more rough that muffler is and it puts out exhaust and it's just not functioning efficiently. And when, you, when you're creating energy, you're also creating this exhaust, which 
sends free radicals out into your body. It makes you feel sluggish. It, it ages you prematurely. So alpha CRS makes the energy production process more efficient. So you're not getting all that crap that's running you down. The three of them together are amazing. And I cannot say enough about them. Helps with inflammation. I know so many people who are like, I wasn't able to like get out of bed in the morning without feeling pain in all their joints. This helps with that. Uh, energy for me, mental health for me. Um, they're, they're also going to detox you. So they're loaded with vitamins and minerals from a whole food source. All that green um, vegetation, it's like the custodian of the cells. It's going to detox your body, detox your kidney and your liver. So we just can't talk about health without talking about the foundation and this, the, our vitamins and minerals are not in the produce anymore. So we have gaps and it's very, very important that we take control of that because nobody else is going to. So gap nutrition is where it's at and that will allow your essential oils to work more efficiently as well. We, we can't just put dump oils on everything and make it better. They're pretty awesome, but they're not magic. So we have to get down to the root cause with everything. Absolutely. So that, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> and the oils are so great. And it's like, we can use them and to have that foundation. We really want to make sure we're getting in all of our healthy diet supplements exercise lifestyle pieces. So it's just another awesome tool to feel empowered and yeah. neutral. So there's a few different types of ways that you can be a part of doTERRA. We always want to encourage you to buy wholesale. There's not really any reason to buy retail. That's why you work with whoever invited you here you're gonna get the best deal by becoming a member. And what that means is you have a membership that gives you access to 25% off pricing for the year. Um, we'll talk a little bit about how that works exactly in a, in a slide or two. But with that being said, you also get access to all of this great education. So every Wednesday we are providing continuing education, we are here to work with you to customize this to your life and your lifestyle. So that's all inclusive with the membership. And it's not just from the person that invited you. We have a team of fabulous women who have been in all different walks of life that are all products of the product that really help bring all of us together, get that community vibe, give us our education and take away some great everyday tips and tricks, or you can learn some pretty profound science and, and research behind it too. So it's really however you want to take it. And with this, you can have the lifestyle, you can build up your own collection so you can swap out things in your medicine cabinet and transform your home one oil at a time. You can also share your products so that way you are getting paid enough so that way your oils and your supplements are taken care of. And that's a great way if you already catch yourself thinking about, all right, who do I want to share this with? I know I have three or four people that would absolutely love this and jump into this lifestyle, or maybe just some people in general who you want to reap these benefits with. So if that's the type of mindset that you already have, you would be great at sharing because it's an awesome way to earn your oils for free and you're already doing this anyways. Um, and there's no sort of like obligation or anything like that. And your other option is to do this as a business like we do. I think this is a great way for me to earn residual income alongside my massage therapy practice. And somebody like Liz has turned this into their full-time career. And, and that's definitely a goal of mine as well. So my eyes were open to this whole lifestyle and this whole idea of making an impact, being happy to show up and help people. And the financial freedom is great, but I didn't even realize what a reality that was gonna become 
And it was nothing that I had ever experienced before where I wasn't just trading my time for money. And I've really been able to get to a place of financial freedom by using these oils and just helping people. So something you feel really good about sharing because we're already a testament of what's going on. Um, there's nothing gimmicky and we don't have to worry about our product because we know how well vetted it is. Awesome. Awesome. So the three ways that you can participate with doTERRA, doTERRA is being a user, a sharer, or a builder, as Brittany was just talking about. And regardless of which pathway you want to choose, it all starts with a membership. The membership is $35 and that gets you 25% off of retail. Um, and that's, that is really the smartest way to go. We don't even consider retail because I don't want you to waste your money. Um, and then you can actually access even deeper discounts from the 25% off and get, we have every month a free product of the month. And we always have a promotion, a different promotion every month. Um, and then you can do what's called a loyalty rewards program. And when you choose to go that route, you get points for every order, starting off at 10% back um, in points. So if you spend $100, you get 10 points. And then you work your way up to 30%. So every time you spend $100, you get $30 back. Um, and that's amazing for me. I buy all my supplements and all my household products through doTERRA and then the oils are free. So it's just kind of the smarter way to go. Um, and yeah, I don't know. That's, that's all I have to say about that. If you want to be uh, somebody who just uses the oils for your household, or if you want to go into that sharing mode where maybe you, ha you host a class and then get your oils for free, or if you wanna become a builder, it all starts with a membership. So you don't have to choose a path today um, because it's all available to you. It's just, we're just letting you know that that's available. And that's, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> yeah. So with the membership, it's $35. It's a whole year of getting 25% off retail. And like Liz said, there's opportunities to save even more and to earn points. After that year is up, there's no obligation to order again after you get your starter kit. Uh, but you know, that lavender is gonna run out eventually. Like we can find reasons that you will order again within the year. So you can utilize that 25% off of retail. After your year is up, what's kind of cool about this is like once you're in, you're in. So it doesn't automatically renew or anything like that, but it's, $25 to renew your yearly, your annual membership. And they'll send you a free bottle of peppermint when you do that. So it's pretty much a wash. Like you decide when you want to renew your annual membership. And when you do, you're going to get a free bottle of peppermint full size, which is like a $23 wholesale value. If you want to waive that $35 membership fee, then you can go ahead and get started with one of the starter kits that they've already designed for you um, based on what your budget is, what your needs are for you and your family. Um, maybe you want to start with the supplements. Maybe you want to start with the oils, a little bit of both. So you have those options to work with whoever invited you to get started and set up with your kit. And again, that's going to waive that $35 fee. I started with this kit that's pretty much right here. Um, yeah. And you know what? I have no regrets. However, I should have gotten like the healthy home with the on guard line in it and all of that because it was just a few weeks later that I was ordering all those other goodies and I could have saved a lot more, but hindsight's 2020. And um, however you want to get started, we're here to support you, give you the education. And when your oils come in, you want to get back with that person who started you off, connect with them, have them teach you how to use everything that came in your kit for you and your family. And, and you know, those simple little habits every day, that's really going to be what makes the biggest difference. So... Does anybody have any questions or did you want to add anything else, Liz, before we wrap up tonight? 
No, I don't think so. Uh, unless there's anybody on the call who has like a awesome testimonial about the lifelong vitality or maybe one of the oils we talked about tonight. Maybe we can do that real quick. And if you have to hop off, 